Hello everyone. This is the pre-market report video for today, March 9th in the Indian stock market in terms of Nifty and Bank Nifty. Yesterday, Nifty opened a gap down of 45 points. Then throughout the day, it tried to regain its lost ground and finally in the last half hour, to some extent with the support of positive European market, Nifty closed positive of over 40 points. In terms of percentage, Nifty was up by 0.24%, Sensex increased by 0.21% and Bank Nifty increased by 0.55%. Finally, back to normal, Bank Nifty outperforms Nifty. In sector wise, it was really mixed. I mean, power increased over 2%, capital goods and auto index was up by 1% each, while selling was seen in IT, metal, pharma and reality. And for the fourth trade session, FII's net bought shares worth approximately 3,670 crore rupees. However, DA stands net sellers, the net sold shares worth approximately 940 crore rupees. Then after our market has all European market opened mixed and closed mixed as well. Coming to US market, last night again Fed Chairman Powell testified about the monetary policy actions before the US House Financial Services Committee. And he repeated the exactly same hawkish stance what he said on Tuesday night. In addition to that, US Bureau of Labor Statistics released the number of available job openings in the whole country. And the data comes as 10.8 million new available job openings. This is at least twice the size of average available job openings in US. This is clearly negative. And the third negative, again the same graph as what we discussed on last pre-market video. In that, the 50 basis point interest rate high probability increased from near 70% on Tuesday to over 75% last night. Despite all this negativity, last night US market closed mixed. Please have a look at the S&P 500 graph. Throughout the day, it was clearly directionless. I mean, around 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern time, where the exact moment that Fed Chairman spoke hawkishly, and at the same time, US labor statistics released the jobs data. And for those, market didn't react at all. And for no reason, after 12 p.m., it dropped and gained in the end. Anyway, in the end, Dow Jones lost by 0.18%, S&P funded up by 0.14% and Nasdaq increased by 0.4%. Regarding VIX, it dropped by 2.5% and closed near 19 In case of tech stocks, only Tesla lost over 3% due to their car steering functional safety issue. All others closed positive. In case of bond yield, it increased marginally from 3.96% to 3.98%, whereas dollar index traded at roughly the same place as Tuesday closing. Regarding oil, it dropped near 1%. At the time of this video, Brent crude oil was trading at near 82.5 US dollars per barrel and WTO crude oil is trading at near 76.5 US dollars per barrel. Coming to Indian areas in US market, it's not that bad. Only Infosys closed negative as it down by 0.33%, whereas both banks closed marginally positive and Wipro closed almost 1% positive. Then regarding HX Nifty, at present at 3 a.m. Indian Standard Time, it closed at 17,803 mark. By equating it along with the Nifty futures, we can say it's showing the gap of opening of around 20 to 30 points. So this is what happened on US and global market on last night. Now moving to the next topic. Yesterday, again Adani closed bridge loan worth near 4,000 crore rupees. This is positive. But what is not positive is that Adani promoters pledged more Adani transmission and Adani green stocks for SBI trustee. Moving on, regarding power sector, lot of websites mentioned about the increase of sudden power demand in India. Increase of power demand is always positive for all the power stocks in coal India. But most of the power stocks were already shot up significantly. So I'm not sure how much more it's going to shot up further. Then the final information I like to share is about yield curve inversion in India. I mean in simple terms, for the first time in the last 8 years, RBI is selling 1 year rupee note for 7.48%, whereas 10 year rupee note selling rate is 7.26%. So short term is higher than that of the long term. Usually this happen only during the economy slowdown. So this is clearly an alarming situation now. So as a summary, there was a mixed momentum at the global level based on everything. I mean US market close, Indian ADRs and SX Nifty all indicating flat to positive opening. Market wants to be positive but the regulatory people want it to be negative. Let's see what happens. Then regarding items we need to look out for. First thing before the market opening, Japanese GDP and Chinese inflation are due to release. 
those are the only important things that i'm aware of and to look out for as long as there is no drastic change we don't need to worry too much now coming to technical nifty forms a long bodied bullish candle with a long lower shadow on the daily chart with above average volumes technically after a weak opening the index recovered sharply from the lowest point of the day the nifty recovered over 150 points this pattern kind of indicates the buy on dips opportunity in the market so as long as nifty trades above 17700 level it's likely to move up to 17850 on the flip side if it's below 17700 then the selling pressure is likely to accelerate and might push the nifty towards to the levels of 17600 to 17550 then bank nifty it forms a bullish engulfing pattern which generally indicates the bullishness but it formed with a very weak volume so possibly a bad signal then coming to moving averages for nifty in daily chart it's same as tuesday closing however technical indicators improves from neutral to buy signal now in case of bank nifty at present in daily chart it trades only below the 50 day and 100 day simple moving average that's 10 in favors and 2 against it so it's upgraded to strong buy from just buy signal and the same for technical indicator as well the summary improves from just buy signal to strong buy signal from option change in open interest very few new call options were added yesterday around 17800 to 18000 and there was a huge number of new put options were added at below 17800 and the maximum new put options were added at 17600 so 17600 is the support to look out for today then from options open interest data 17800 and 18000 got the maximum call options but 17800 mark also got some put options as well and because of that 17800 is the immediate resistance breaking that 18000 will act as the strong resistance for today's expiry then coming to bank nifty based on change in open interest significant new put options were added at below 41500 and maximum new put options were added at 41200 so 41200 is the immediate support then based on overall open interest data the maximum nearby call option open interest is present at 42000 and 41500 since 41500 is the short straddle thus 42000 is the immediate resistance so that's all in this video hope you all got some useful information please consider subscribing the channel and liking the video so it will help me be there regard them and will also motivate me to do more please don't make any no solicitation based on this as i'm not a sebi registered advisor i'm doing it for my and viewers educational purpose only thanks for watching